careful. Let's open it up and see how it looks. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. What's going on guys? We're back again with another unboxing and review of the Hawk Collection MMA figures. This time we're gonna take a look at the Mojico Takata. There are three different figures, so let's get started. This is when he was like kind of like fighting. This is him in like kind of like the M. Bison uh, costume. I think he, uh, they used to call him like uh, Generalissimo uh, Takata. That's what he was like uh, in his wrestler gimmick. And this is his announcer kind of figure. So he has three different figures. He also has a statue. Um, he's like kind of a like robe. I don't have that one, but I do have these three figures. Um, so let's take a closer look at them. like a little bio thing on it and this is number 614 out of 3500 I actually haven't seen this in other figures but I never opened the other ones that's probably why Stuck in there. He moves his hands. <laughs> it has to be like this, obviously. I mean, it does look like him. He has even like the mark right here on his face. If you look at his pictures, he has that mark too. He has this uh, bandage on his arm. At the end of the video, I'll give you close-ups of all of these. But, it looks pretty good. Again, I I would wish they would have put the Pride logo on this. And this one doesn't have the tape. It's probably because when he fought, it had the, I think it was a KRS logo here. And it didn't have that pink or blue tape before. It was early in Pride, so it didn't have that before. I'm pretty sure that's why. A little background on Takata. He used to fight for New Japan Pro Wrestling and a bunch of different Japanese organizations. He was um, known for his shoot uh, style of fighting. Then he moved into mixed martial arts in uh, Pride FC. Uh, he fought against uh, Hicks and Gracie twice. He lost twice uh, by armbar. He was. Uh, known for uh, allegedly fixing fights to help promote his himself um he did a fight with uh, i think it was like a kickboxer that allegedly was a fix and also another one with mark coleman and uh, mark coleman kind of basically said it was fixed team takata i didn't actually never notice that before again i never opened the figure so that's why This Takata on his collar. This is monster right here. That's pretty cool. He's a little taller, but I think it was probably because he has shoes and the hat, obviously. Uh, last one. Still has the tape right here, which I'm gonna cut. Okay. Third 
figure as an announcer. This hand doesn't move. This one moves to the side a little bit. It's all, I don't know what that means, but anyone in the comments that reads Japanese can let me know. Same as this. It's a little taller on this one. Probably because of the shoes again. But, those are his three figures. Again, there's a statue that I don't have. Um, there's a bunch of statues, but this one of him I don't have. I don't see it on eBay either. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to get. <coughs> I think out of all three, this is probably my favorite. Uh, again, with the and Bison costume look like. Kind of, well, his name was uh, Generalissimo Takata, I think was his uh, character with this with this costume. Uh, this is my favorite. This is probably next. And then obviously this one. Uh, these are the highest one with the sand would be seven, seven inches. This one, six. And this to the top of his uh, hat would be seven and three quarters. So, um, which one's your favorite? Leave it in the comments. Let me know which one you like better. Again, this is my favorite. Number one, number two, and number three.